Today I'm going to show you how I made these canvas bags with my artwork on them. My magazine collage. They turned out amazing. Now the video is a little weird because it's different pieces and parts of it. It was a little hard to record, but hopefully it will help. Okay, so the first step is you want to take pictures of your artwork. And then I used Photoshop to just go around and cut out all the background, right? And I don't have to get super close to this or do it fancy because I'm going to be cutting it out again off of the canvas. So all I did was do this, delete, and then um, I need it to save with this being um, not white because otherwise when you do it, um, your pictures will overlap and you won't be able to get as much on the canvas. So in Photoshop, you just do file, export, quick export as a PNG. And then when you export it, it will, here, I'll do it real quick. I'll save it to my desktop. I'll show you it's um, clear. So you want to use PNGs for this part, but it's clear here. So when I place it into my Illustrator file that you'll see later, you can do it that way. Or let me real quick go to, I'm going to make this super easy for you. If you are not a graphic designer, you can go to Canva, which is a free site. And you're going to say, um, just pick anything. Poster is fine because you want it to be big. Right, 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 right. And you're just trying to make all the little like all, all your artwork in different little outlines because we're going to print it out on a canvas that, um, go to upload. So we're going to print it out on a canvas. Oh, we'll just use one of these ones I have in here. Okay, there she is. Okay, so now we're going to say edit image, remove background, right? And it is is going to have a hard time on my artwork figuring out what the background is. But the nice thing is you can add different parts of it back in. So give it a second. It's really going to have to think for this one. Okay, it didn't it didn't add very much. It didn't take away very much because it feels like the whole thing is it. But you can come in here with erase. And just, like I said, you don't have to get super close. And this is a free program. So you would just erase all of this and then download it as a PNG then, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go into Canva and erase anything that you don't want to have printed out. Oops, I messed up her foot. Let's see if there's an undo. Command Z is usually undo. Yep, Command Z will undo the last thing you did, or I think it's Control Z in Windows, but you can just erase this whole background and then do, oh, download. And then we wanna do a PNG. And then what that'll do is it will also make this clear where we have, you know, where we don't have anything except for our artwork. Okay, so I have an 18, I'm going to order an 18 by 24 piece of canvas. And I don't have to worry, I'm making the motion with my hands, but I don't have to worry about it folding around the edge. So I just need it flat. I think I'm going to be okay with not, you know, my stuff getting cut off. I'm going to kind of move all this stuff. Well, I guess I can't move that over a titch. I can move that over a titch. But I'm going to save this. Now, you could do this in Canva. You could do this in Photoshop. I did it in Illustrator. Um, but just get the size of your printed canvas and then put the things that you want to print. And I'm going to cut these all up, so that's fine for me. And I'm just going to do File, Save As. So I'm going to save this two ways. I'm going to save this as an Illustrator document canvas. And then I'm going to export this 
as a giant, 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 giant picture. PNG file export. And that's on the desktop. Okay. So then we're going to come over here and I'm doing it at easycanvasprints.com. I'll put a link to them below. And we're going to do 18 by 24. They want me to upload my image. File size limit 20 MBs. I think we'll be okay, but we'll check. So they accept PNGs, GIFs, all kinds of stuff. But you want your files to be big because then they won't be pixelated when they print out. There we go. Looks good. Continue. Choose options. I don't want no, I don't want any wrap. So it's a 75 inch wrap. Oh, it looks like it's just going to duplicate that little bit around the edges, which is fine with me. I'm going to cut it off. Standard wrap is fine. I don't need a frame. Open back included is fine. Mirrored border is fine. Add to cart. Let's see how much it costs to ship it because I heard it was shipping. I don't need a wall mat. I don't need a wall hanging system. I do not want lamentation. I just need to see how much it's going to cost to ship. $24 for it. Check out. I'm going to fill out all this. Ooh, $10 for shipping? That's crazy. I feel like that add another 12 by 18 by 24 custom canvas print. So $37.42. I'm going to order that. And the next time you see this, we're going to be looking at the real thing. Oh my gosh, what a fun day this is. So I was thinking that I need a new bag. And so I went on eBay and I got this bag. And so it's not perfect. It has little jemmies on it, but some of the jemmies have fallen off, right? But that's fine because I had my own artwork printed onto canvas. And what I'm going to do is I am going to cut out my artwork. Oh, look, some of this is peeling too. Um, I'm going to cut out my own artwork and put that on with some, I don't know, I have to go to Joanne's, so I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but I'll show you when I, after I get it, but it's called fusing. And so you put your stuff on and either it glues it on and then I'm going to slow stitch anyways, or you can do heat application and hang on. I'm going to show you what I got. I waited for you. I didn't even, I haven't seen this yet either. So I'm super excited. Okay. Woo wee. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I got my own artwork printed at Easy Canvas Prints. It was $39, which could be expensive. Well, it's with the shipping. I'm going to check at my local UPS store because they print on canvas and then maybe I wouldn't have to pay for the shipping. But look at this. It's just printed on this canvas. How cool is that? So I am going to go cut this off of the backing. So what they did was, oh, it's going to be very close to you, but they printed it around the edge and then, oh, here, I may not have to cut it off. Hold on. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull this out? I have to get tools. So I'm just going to get a little screwdriver and I'm going to, oh, hold on. Let's see if we can do this. I'm thinking, what if this would work? Because I just need to get, oh no, oh no. We need heavy tools. We need real, oh, look at this. I have a knife. Okay, so this is an old-fashioned knife knife, and that will definitely go under there. So let's get this popped up a little bit, and then I think 
All right, I might have to get it up higher. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, look at that. And then I have needle nose pliers. Oh. Ooh, that one part is very hard in there. Oh, there we go. We got to use our pressure of, of, what is that? Okay, so that took it out. So I'm going to take it off and I will be right back. Okay. So now we have it off of the frame. Um, so, a couple tips. I went to my tungsten blade kitchen knife to pry up the staples. This is why Johnny Jacobson doesn't like when I do crafting because um, I didn't hurt myself, but I made very careful to point the knife away from me. And um, he doesn't like when I use our home <laughs> things for crafting but he isn't here so it's okay all right now we are gonna take our very special plat titanium blades and cut something out okay so I'm gonna cut this out I'm gonna rough cut it first hold on I'll be right back all right there we go so now I feel like I want that tag to be just a tag, so I'm gonna cut here, but look how cool this other little bit is gonna be, because they put the wrap around the edge, right? So maybe in the future, I would make like the whole background a pattern of mine, so that when I cut this out, I would have all kinds of cool gizmos and g jaws around. And this was an 18 by 24 print. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these out and I'll be back. This is my project where I'm making my bag with this gal on it. And I went and got, and shoot, I can't tell you what it is. I'll tell you, I'll put a, a note on there. But this is double fusible stuff so it's supposed to stick on the front and the back so it's so funny because I was like oh okay if I have to cut this I will just get my scissors and I'll and she's like just outline it and she said it really like you're an idiot so I totally get that so what I'm gonna do is I am going to outline this but I'm gonna go a little outside of it because I don't really want a black line around my project. Oh, we should turn on the heat. We don't want steam. I don't think we have steam anyways. And I think, oh, there's a, I don't know how to use irons. I haven't used irons in, gosh, years. And this is probably one of those times when my family's gonna be mad that I use the iron for a non-approved thing, like when I use the fry pans or the baking pans and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this out skinnier than what it is, cause I'm planning on stitching it anyways. And then we're gonna see if it sticks to it, if it'll stick to the um, thing. So I'm gonna go cut this out real quick. I'll be right back. All right. There we go. Okay, so there's our wing side. Oh, I'm a terrible cutter. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Oh, this is really good. I did good up here. Well, I did better up here. So, I am just going to get some paper clips. Is this... I think it was kind of skewed. Let me see if I can get this closer to being straight and then I think I'll have a lot less to cut. I feel like it was a little bit easier to see on the back than it was on the front. And we know the bottom's too long because I left a little margin. So let's just cut that off and then we can put a paper clip down there. Cool, cool. I'm sure the sewers are like, doesn't she have pins? No, I have pins. But as you know, I never use my pins the correct way. 
Okay, so we're gonna cut. I almost feel like I want to cut it from underneath to avoid maybe cutting my stuff. And you know me, I'm gonna draw around this. I'm gonna do all kinds of stuff around this. So I'm not s super fussy about being perfect here. I'm just excited to get started. My style of crafting, according to Johnny J, is fixing problems I've made for myself along the way. And I always tell him, because he said, so, so that may sound grumpy or like judgy, but he's hilarious because he has to sit over there. His office is right by mine. We both work from home. And so he has to sit there listening to me talk to you lot all day. And he's like, um, yeah, mostly you just fix your problems. Well, there we go. Well, I feel like that grape is just problematic. All right, I'm going to clean this all up and I will be right back. Okay, so here is something I have already figured out in this process is, um, like on the other one, I got all excited cutting out all the little, she had like a rough and it had choppy choppy bits. I don't think we can do choppy choppy bits um, with this. I can't be as intricate with this as I am with some of my magazine collages, which is fine. They're two different kinds of art. All right, let's put this on here and see what happens. And I will tell you what this is if it works. Oh, I think we have we were gonna pull these off. Don't use your good scissors for this, Schiffer. Craft scissors. Let's see if we can pull these off. I had my pliers just the other day. Since other ones of these have come off with just the glue, I know these will come off. So I don't want the bumps under my, there we go, see? Fine, just a little bit of glue. I don't want these plastic bumps underneath my design. I already have enough trouble with, um, I think the paint is gonna cause problems. I should have for my very first one done something simpler, but that is just not me. Okay, we're gonna go down as far as we can go. I feel like I should try to get this as flat as I can get it. I'm trying not to cut my art. I'm trying to cut the bottom part. Oh, oh, oh. And the lady said to use parchment paper. So I'll be right back. I got to go grab some parchment. Okay, I don't actually have parchment paper. We're going to try it with this towel first because it's very thin and see what happens. I think if I can get a little bit of it stuck down, I would feel comfortable ironing my canvas because I washed it. I washed it in the washing machine. It was fine. It's fine. We're all fine. All right. How about if we try to do this bottom bit first? And they said you don't iron, like iron. You um, just put the hot iron on it. Is this on? I don't know if it's very hot. Let's go hotter. I don't feel like that's going to do nothing. All right, we're going to, I'm going to, oh, there we go. Oh, that feels much hotter. I can feel the heat coming up now. It's making steamy bits. I wonder why. Do we know? Does anybody iron? Tell me why it's making steamy bits. Okay, let's check this bottom part. That didn't do nothing. Okay. I think my towel is messing me up. Let's try. They always say test a spot. Let's test this spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's a little sticky. Okay, we're going to do that. It didn't seem like it hurt the canvas. I am going to iron this. I will be back. Okay, so I feel like some of it is stuck and some of it isn't stuck. 
But functionally, what I wanted it to do was to be stuck enough that I could work on it and do the sewing without me having to kind of mind it and keep it down, which I kind of think is what I've accomplished, okay? Now, what we're gonna try is, this is called Peel and Stick Fabric Fuse. And this doesn't require the iron, so we're gonna try this next. Whew, this is very stressful. All right, what do we want on here? Oh, I think the butterfly, don't you? The butterfly, and then what do we want? We want some bees. Oh, they kind of go this way. Ooh, that's fun. Kind of like that. Or do we want the bee? With the bees? Well, I kind of like the bee with the bees. What do you think? I like things straight. Okay, how about if we do it this way? Oh, that's better, because I like his little fat bumble body. Okay, so we are going to use this peel and stick permanent adhesive on this one. All right, so this is like sticky back tape. This I am familiar with. Let's use our rag so we don't do this on our art. Look at me being careful of my art. I hardly ever am. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do this. This I know how to do. Now, do I feel confident that if I did peel and stick tape on fabric that it would stick. I don't know. I don't know if I am super confident about that, but we're gonna try it. Because if I can peel and stick, the, well, see, I think it would be horribly, horribly hard to do, um, to do that. You know, a big project, little square projects like this with, um, to me, it kind of feels the same as some of the, um, you know, junk journaling I do. Sometimes I'm fine with a little peel and stick. And sometimes I really want, um, like, like I use tape. And then sometimes I want um, glue, you know, because it's just such a big area. All right, let's do this. Okay, and... It looks like we got one last row that we need to do because we want the side to be super stuck, right? And I think this roll of tape was like $5. I don't know how much this was. And I especially don't know how much that was because I bought the last of the roll and the nice lady gave me 50% off. And I think it was, I'm not using my good scissors on tape. I'm just not going to do it. So... We're going to have to muddle along with um, with whatever scissors I'm willing to sacrifice for science. Where did the bees go? There they are. Okay, so I'm loving the peel and stick if it actually works. When it's super clear, oh, that, that stuff is white. This is clear. I'm pulling up the back. This to me is just like um, double-sided tape that we use in um, paper crafts. If you are watching me to learn how to do this, do not. I'm sure there's a person that is a fabric um, artist on YouTube that would be way less derpy at this than I am. Okay, so we're going to put this right here. And they say this is permanent. And this is for like if you're putting patches on or something like that. I gotta say, I don't know if I would wash this. Press on adhesion for precision. Permanent, let's see if you can watch. Made in the USA, I love that. You can hem it. Do not sew. Do not sew. I'm gonna sew it. Can't stop me. You're not the boss of me. As if I'm careful with my products okay i feel like how's this going this is this is doing okay i have some fabric glue too um 
I feel like this is stuck down. I don't feel like this is super stuck. Like I wouldn't, I would think that this is gonna come off someday. This feels like it's super on. So we're gonna do this again. So nice, we did it twice. This is just super st sticky tape. You can't fool me. There's no fabric part of this. This is just super gooey tape. So I bought like five kinds of fabric adhesive. So we're gonna check all this out because I can't be bothered to actually try to sew, sew this on. I'm gonna slow stitch sew it, meaning that I'm gonna go around it, um, whip stitch it, but that is not, not actual sewing. And I wouldn't wanna count on it to be what held my piece together. Okay, where are my tiny scissors? There they are. Because I do want this to be cute. Okay, let's do big scissors for the big part. Oh, maybe I could do this part and then just do the... I am very pleased with the permanent adhesive tape. But I wonder if it's because that's what I'm used to. Like, I'm a taper, gluer, cutter. I'm not an ironer. Right? So... It's kind of like when you do anything new in art, it could just be that I'm not good at it already, so it makes me grumpy, which has happened to me before. Okay, okay, and now we wanna do the little inside innies of these. But thus far, the fabric tape is my favorite. Okay, so you know how sometimes we'll do tape and then glue? Um, had I known this fabric tape is so good, I might have put like fabric tape in that part, but I'm gonna glue this while I'm watching Tim Holtz today. Or sew it while I'm watching Tim Holtz today. So I think that'll be, I think it'll be fun to sew anyways. I bought new needles. It does appear as if there's a needle shortage because there were lots of needles that work there there we go all right let's make sure our bees are right side up because this stuff is sticky there we go that's cute all right i'm gonna go sew this and i'll be back okay here she is my new bag um i don't remember if i told you but i did wash parts of the leftovers and it stayed totally fine i washed it in warm water and so the canvas is fine. She turned out great. Some tips. Oh my gosh, these things. So when, um, oh my goodness, so cute. When they said you couldn't sew through the um, fabric tape, you can, you just have to use pliers and then goo -go on your needles. So I am going to do a blog post about all the different kinds of glue you can use for um, fabric for like this crazy mixed media fabric collage that I'm doing. But um, I think this turned out amazing. And the only reason it stands up, this is not part of the video, there's my journal, um, is because I have a purse organizer in there. So if you want your bag to stand up, um, they're super cheap. They're like 20 bucks to go in your pocketbook to make something because this is very um, Like this would fall down if that wasn't in there. So I love how it turned out. There's some of my tags There's the cat on the polar bear and then this big beautiful girl And I am thrilled with how it turned out. Are you playing in the box? Do you think mommy was good to get you a box? Yeah, I know. It's lovely. You're a very good girl. 